G'day fellow audio nerds. The good folks at AKO Pro Audio have given me the opportunity to try out the brand new DPA 2017, which is slightly confusing because we're in 2023, shotgun microphone. So how it's been marketed to me is, this is sort of like their ENG field use, potentially on camera style shotgun microphone. So it's supposed to be really robust, really, really tough. Now it's pretty hard to tell from a short term use just how tough it is. But I can tell you a little bit about some of its physical characteristics and look in the short time that I've had it, how I've found to have the sound. All right, so when you get your DPA 2017, it comes in a box like this. It's pretty, look, low rent in comparison to some of the other DPA presentations, but I guess that's its point. It's sort of, it's, it's more budget friendly and I will talk about the price a little bit later on. So you come, it comes in the box. You get your typical spongy filter. You get this microphone stand clamp, which to be honest with you, for a microphone that's gonna be utilized as either a ENG sound recorders microphone or a uh, on-camera microphone, it's pretty pointless to give a non-suspension mount mic clip. I don't really, really understand why they do that. I mean, I guess it's to save money, but at the end of the day, I mean, you've only got to look at the success of Rode where they supply kits that are ready to go, that maybe that's something that DPA can look down the track, that even just a low, low cost suspension mount as an option so you can use it straight out of the box might be a more useful product. And then we get the actual microphone itself. So there it is. I mean, it looks like a DPA microphone. To look at it, it's nothing sort of too significantly exciting. I mean, it looks quite robust and once again, they're touting it as being very, very durable. It's got a very high SPL, I think it's 140 dB, so that, that can handle some really high volume loads. I'm only gonna assume that all that stuff's pretty pretty uh, reliable. Um, but look, it's, it's a nice looking microphone. Physically, it's approximately the same size as my Sennheiser 8060, which is sort of my uh, go-to ENG and pretty much all round shotgun microphone. It's a little tiny bit longer, but it's exactly the same uh, diameter. So it will fit into um, a Sonella uh, Cosi um, suspension mount for a 8060, which is what I already have and that's how I was using it. And in that suspension mount, I will say that the handling noise of the microphone was particularly good. I mean, the Cosi is a great suspension mount and doesn't transfer much handling noise anyway, but I did notice that, that with this microphone, it was slightly better than the 8060 for handling noise, but it could be the, by the dint of the fact that this microphone possibly is a little less sensitive just all around. And so we'll start talking about the sound, which is always really hard to do in a mic test of, of this nature because I haven't had it for months and months to really give you a feel. But what I would say about the sound of this microphone is, sort of as a comparison to DPLE's other shotgun microphones, which are very, very lovely microphones, but it's quite notable for the fact that they don't have that same sort of presence boost that the Sennheiser microphones do. So they tend to sound especially through the headphones, a little bit flat. This microphone certainly is a little bit more hyped up. It's a little bit more excited sounding, but not quite as excited sounding as the Sennheiser 8060. But that may be a good thing for your purpose because whilst, as I say, through the headphones, it doesn't sound quite, quite as good, I actually listened to the uh, results of this mic these two microphones as a comparison between gen in some Genelec monitors, which is, a, you know, I guess a better listening environment anyway. And I will say that this microphone had a slightly sort of sweeter sound, more that DPA, more high fidelity kind of sound rather than the Sennheiser, more slightly hyped broadcasty sound. Okay, so, I mean, that's as much as I can sort of tell you in this sort of setup. Um, I think, the biggest um, selling point about this microphone, the thing that's really gonna make the impact is the price. Uh, this retails for, in Australian dollars, uh, just our shade under $1,500. Uh, I'll put the US prices on the bottom of the screen. The Sennheiser 8060 is, is running around the $2,300 mark. So it's a significant price difference. For microphones that, honestly, they, in terms of a quality microphone, you could definitely say this 2017 is really in the conversation with that microphone as well. And the other thing I'll say about durability as well is that unlike the Sennheiser, which has a uh, detachable mic preamp section, which has been problematic for humidity issues in the past, although they have seemed to have sorted out with revisions, this microphone is a one-piece microphone, so that it probably won't be an issue. So all in all, the DPA 2017, look, at the price point, I would definitely say if you're looking to upgrade from a more entry-level shotgun microphone like a Rode or something like that, I would definitely be strongly considering it.